The USA will be the last country in the world to default, but the USA will default as well. You know, here's my, my thesis. First of all, Bitcoin's only 13 years old, okay? Secondly, the price has gone down from its all-time highs, but one year ago was when it was at the current price. So remove one year and all of a sudden we're at one. This is a 20-year trade, okay? This is not about a one year. This is insurance over the next lifetime of myself and my children. Don't evaluate an insurance policy on a quarter-to-quarter -quarter basis. Accumulate your insurance so that in the event that the central bank loses control, you have insurance. I do not want the U.S. to lose control of the system. It's going to happen, but I hope over time we will have a parallel system called Bitcoin developed, which will absorb the law, the, the, the volatility and loss of the traditional financial markets. It's the only solution. Again, I'm trying to tell you it's impossible. Volcker had the ability to do that because the outstanding debt of the United States wasn't at a point where it would bankrupt itself by raising rates that high. So Volcker, so you you called it. You, I think you said it was a 39-year bond bull market. Guess what? I've been trading for 35 of those 39 years. I am only have seen one thing. Interest rates going from 14% down to under 1%. I could have closed my eyes put all my money in long-term <laughs> treasury bonds 40 years ago, and then fast forwarded the clock and come and cashed out now and say, hey, look, I make 25% annualized just because I went into bonds. Mm -hmm. But what should have equities have done over that period? They should have done better, yes, because they're more risky. Again, they rank below, they rank lower in the capital structure. Last week, long bonds in the US lost 10% of their value. Okay, the coupon on that bond is 2%. The annual coupon on that bond is 2%. It lost five years of return in one week. And while they can't do it, they can pretend. Like Jay Powell is still leaking through Goldman Sachs that there's going to be four to five interest rate hikes by a certain period of time. I'm calling BS on that, okay? But the market can believe FOSS or they can believe Jay Powell. Who do you think they're going to believe in the short term? I know I'm right wow. in the wrong in the long term, but in the short run, they're going to believe Jay Powell. So here's the key: markets are an ebb and flow of uh, of risk and return and evaluation. This will work itself out, but it's very unlikely, in my opinion. In fact, impossible. But I have to say, unlikely because you're never 100 percent certain on that side that the coupon on the bond will ever exceed the 7% inflation rate that we are currently experiencing, which means you're guaranteed to lose money after inflation because then they have to pay interest coupons of 10% on a debt burden that is already too big. So then your, your, your debt burden is expanding at 10% annually just because of the coupon on the bond? Impossible. Absolutely mathematically impossible unless you want the USA to default, which I don't. I wish that I could get into Pierre Poilievre's head to tell him to convince the Bank of Canada to do that. I want Canada to be the next El Salvador. People forget when you live in the United States, you guys live in a bit of a bubble. Like Argentina, the country of Argentina, which is a G20 country, has defaulted four times in my career. Four times. Who in their right mind lends money to, D uh, to Argentina again? Well, stupid pension funds that say this time it's going to be different. Mm -hmm. Okay, the USA will be the last country in the world to default, but the USA will default as well. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I hope it takes a long time because I have three kids and yeah. I need to help get a parallel system in place mm -hmm. so that when that happens or when the world realizes that a bond contract is not worth the paper yeah. it's written on, they have another alternative called Bitcoin. It will take time for money managers to understand the beauty of Bitcoin, much yeah. like it took me. Like, again, I was skeptical. Yep. I have not stopped researching Bitcoin since five years ago when I first discovered it. And every single day, I find stuff that makes me more uh, 
convinced that it is the solution. Not in, uh, not you know, with without or with due mention to people like yourself and younger uh, guys like Marty Benton and, and people who are out there telling the truth. And then there's some old guys like Lawrence Lepard and and uh, you know an old gold bug who is admitted, unlike Peter Schiff who is conflicted. Lawrence Lepard was a gold bug and admits that Bitcoin is the better solution than gold. So this is only 13 years old. This thing takes time to permeate the uh, the membranes of the of the thick human skull, right? And the the bondholders that have ho- held bonds during a 40 year bull market in bonds. It's going to take time for people to open their statements and go, "What happened to the safe thing I thought was a bond? It's currently marked down 20 percent." I mean, last le- week it lost 10 percent. Is it crazy to think you could lose another 10 percent on something that's supposed to be safe? So what is Bitcoin? In my opinion, Bitcoin is insurance. It's actually you're purchasing insurance on the fallibility of an entity. In 2008, people were purchasing the insurance on things like Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns. Who are they now going to purchase insurance on? Countries. And that is my opinion that Bitcoin is the perfect insurance policy. And by the way, there's no counterparty risk. You don't have to go to an insurance company to claim your insurance policy because the chances are that insurance company will be out of business, much like all other financial institutions. You have this beautiful insurance policy that has no time decay, right? Because there's no contract on on Bitcoin. It's the world's most secure computer network. It's digital energy. Oh, and by the way, oil and natural gas will be priced in Bitcoin someday. And when that happens, the USA loses reserve currency status. But more importantly, US Treasury bonds lose reserve asset status and Bitcoin becomes the global reserve asset. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn $500,000, million, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.